hello hello virgos welcome back to the channel this is kelly from house of virgo i hope you all had a wonderful weekend and if so feel free to leave a comment and tell everyone what you did over this weekend that was so great and yeah we're in october we're gonna do your week ahead reading see what the messages are if you are new please feel free to hit that like button and do subscribe to the channel. You can also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where I upload daily readings Monday through Friday. Yeah, so let's get into this. Don't forget, you can also book a reading with me um, for, there's a discount for October as well. You can book it with either me or Brandy. All right, let's get into your reading. Okay, so you're starting with Healing Heart, Healing healing from a heartbreak okay freedom from toxic relationship or addiction you have engagement ring and you have cupid's arrow okay so looks like you got some love <laughs> showing up here to begin with okay that's good you're healing from something or someone's healing looks more like two people perhaps healing um someone's healing from a heartbreak and um looks like there's um, a love offer coming in engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union having faith love is coming surprise invitation or a meeting coming up this week possibly uh coming in from another could be another virgo or it could be from a capricorn or a taurus okay um now they could have that anywhere in their chart or it could be their sun sun moon rising or venus um, this is someone who shows up more in the energy of like a business type of person, you know, um, someone who's pretty level headed, kind of like, you know, matter of fact, someone who's pretty matter of fact, King of Pentacles can represent someone who could be a Taurus as well. So they would have that Venus energy. So, um, a fixed could be a fixed energy. Um, could be um, a mutable energy or cardinal energy okay it's definitely not someone who um, well it's one of the three okay so let's just I feel like they're a good dresser I feel like I want to tell you that they have a good job or they work really hard they're all about business though all about making money all right let's take a look here okay so get the world so this feels like a long distance i'm hearing a long distance relationship for sure and this feels like a new beginning as well so definitely this week something is starting and i feel like this person um is this feels like someone that you might have had some kind of situation with where there might have been a few shots or punches being thrown figuratively not literally um yeah some shots being thrown some punches being thrown some like someone who's getting who like oh gosh it kind of feels to me like a situation where two people were in the ring and they were kind of duking it out um, things were tough, uh, like a relationship, a, re a relationship, <laughs> a relationship was tough and it just gives me a sense of like, okay, you know, we, we had a couple of battles, but, um, it's worth working on. It's, it's like still worth, um, fighting for. This is what I hear. This is what I feel this message is. Um, so I feel like you're definitely going to be connecting with someone this somebody's coming in you're going to be connecting with someone here um i feel like someone here doesn't want to give up um they don't want to keep fighting that's for sure um but they don't want to give up on a relationship yeah definitely coming in to try to manifest something here um <laughs> yeah i feel like someone here is gonna fight so could also be um aquarius leo scorpio gemini 
that energy as well. So I feel like somebody's coming in, they're going to lay everything out on the table, be completely open and honest with you, tell you everything, tell you how they feel, uh, give you like some absolute truth and clarity. Um, you know, all the aces <coughs> showing up here, wanting to invest in this relationship, um, try to bring forth like this new passionate energy towards the relationship. Open up about their feelings. Um, let me take a look here at this world. So I feel like, I feel like this person feels really like a lot of anxiety. I, I don't know if you guys have separated, but I feel like there's a lot of mental stress about sleeping in the bed alone, I'm hearing. Yeah, sleeping in the bed alone. They don't, they're, they're <laughs> they don't, I don't know what that means. Like, they, they don't like being able, they, they, they don't like that they're, they, they roll over and you're not there, I'm hearing. So I don't know if it's a long distance or if that you guys are at a distance to each other. Yeah, so there's that going on. I feel like this person, with the world it feels like they you know like they feel incomplete without you like you're missing there's a feeling of like this absence they want to close the gap here try to bring um some closure to this separation or this distance between the two of you yep there you go six of swords get closer this person it feels like they want to get closer to you Oh, now there's the King of Swords. Yeah, so Libra could be. So we pretty much have all the air signs that I've already said. Um, so they're definitely coming in. You're going to be hearing from this person this week for sure. Um, they're going to try to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. So I do feel like you're going to hear from them this week. Let me see here. So I'm feeling it could be on Monday or Tuesday, they're saying. Okay. Yeah. So this person is like, they're by themselves. They are single. Um, and this is your card here, Virgo right so this person is single they have you on their mind they're definitely coming in to talk to you um and i feel like you're single you're really not i i, I mean I don't, you might have other people around you but i don't really f see you being in a committed relationship heavy duty with anybody right now you could be it's not you know some of you might be but at least they're either they're hoping that you are on your own and that you don't ha or at least you will be on your own when they talk to you um, i feel like they want to have that opportunity to um just get you alone so they can talk to you um i just feel like this person is really stressing being like without you kind of sounds sad but that's yeah the energy that i'm picking up with this person Wow, those are two very opposing energies here. Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords. I mean, <laughs> I do feel like they're coming in to like disturb the peace. <laughs> they want to wake you up. They're coming in to wake you up. You might get a call. Um, they might be like calling your phone when you're asleep. So you might get some calls at night or t some texts, you might wake up in the morning and get some calls or see you've had some calls or some texts by this person um, one day this week. Yeah, I feel like they're really going to be kind of like calling a lot. That's Cupid's arrows you have up there, which gives me that eight of wands, which is like news, lots of messages coming in fast. Uh, yeah, there you go. 
Yep, 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 yep. Six of Cups and the Two of Wands, or the Two of Cups. So this is definitely, this person is going to try to connect with you. They want to talk to you. This makes me feel like, and I've never seen this before, but this makes me, you remember like back, you remember back in the old days that when you were kids, you used to like string two cups together and pretend they were like phones, you were talking to each other. This is kind of what I feel like. This person is trying to connect with you. So they will be calling you. I don't know if you will have your phone on silent here with the Four of Swords. You might, or you you might even have it like not accepting um, private or no call, you know, no caller ID. You might, it might go right to voicemail or, it, you know, you might not get the text, that kind of thing. Um, so you might not even know that they're trying to call. That could be... If you don't get the call, why there's so many of those calls, like if it goes right to voicemail, um, that kind of thing, I, like it depends on what kind of setting you have or what kind of phone you have, but I feel like they're going to be calling you a lot. So you might even be asleep or you might have it on silent. <clears throat> there also might be, they might try to reach out to a friend of yours as well. Um, Yes, uh, this makes me feel, I know this is so very old to say, but they just gave me an old like slip in a dime in a payphone kind of scenario. They just showed that to me, like calling a friend from like, I don't know, a collect call, like who does that? I don't know why they're showing me this. So this could be somebody who is older as well, um, but I feel like they'll wait a while and then try to call your friend what is going on trying to call a friend of yours that maybe you both know each other they're trying to get a hold of you like this person's really i feel like stressing or try to talk to one of your siblings or a family member um or some or you know yeah a friend or someone they really want to talk to you i mean i just feel like this person i they i do feel like this this person wants to propose um like they're coming in with this love this new love offer this partnership they want to be with you they want to marry you like they've been thinking about taking this leap of faith here with you i mean it's pretty heavy duty for sure it could be um pisces cancer yes definitely interesting i didn't call any i don't think i called any fire signs so um here you've got the king of cups um so we have a water sign showing up there too. So it could be a water sign. Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm not picking up some strong fire. So I don't, yeah, I'm not feeling like a fire sign. Not heavy in fire. But I do feel like, yeah, that's what I feel like the message is this week. So you might want to just, oops, be aware of that. Um, this person coming in, trying to get a hold of you. I just, I just feel like that's what their intention is. Why they're getting a hold of you? Um, because they're just like they're just they miss you so much. They want you next to them. They feel the absence. They want to be with you. All that stuff going on. Let me just get a couple of love messages here for you. Oh my God, there it is again, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, so that's what's, listen, I don't know if you're gonna be like actually engaged or what's going on. For some of you, they are gonna offer that. For others, it's just like a, it's turned, like their intention is to be in a committed relationship. Um, retreat, time to disconnect from the world. So you and this person, getting together look at these two they're kind of like in bride and groom energy here so you and this person spending some time together they want to be alone with you i said that already i can pick up my card and reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life i mean these cards are speaking for themselves they are speaking for themselves let me see if you have anything else going on besides this news here anything else besides this love message happening here for virgo this week 
Okay, you've got family, soul family groups. Family will be very important this week for some of you. Spending time with family, visiting family, um, your kids, spending time with your kids. Some of you will be doing something with a home, a real estate, a residence, a property this week. Um, either selling or buying, fixing up, investing, um, repairing. It looks like anything to do with a home this week is a good, it's a good time this week. Anything to do that you're thinking about doing or doing, it's, it, it will be favorable to you. You'll also have gifts, surprises, presents, openings, um, receiving or sending will be favorable. So these are all the favorable things for you this week. Connecting with family, receiving or sending gifts, and anything to do with property, real estate, or residences favorable to you this week. Let me see what else. Okay, gossip. <laughs> I don't know if gossip's favorable to you, but some small talk with some neighbors, some grapevine stuff about a young female. Um, youthful music and fashion. I do feel like you might hear something through the grapevine about a young female. Um, looks like she has red hair. So you might hear something this week pertaining to a young female. Handle that with delicacy. You've also got mature woman, socialite connector, high society. There could be something about gossip in regards to her and a young female this week. Handle that with care and delicacy, I hear. Okay, you also have a love triangle, a crowded relationship, and some choices this week you will be confronted with. And you also have control, taking back power, something kinky in the bedroom. Okay, I'm not gonna go too deep into that one, so. <laughs> There's something showing up there that week. You can go over to my OnlyFans. And maybe that will show up this week. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel over, or to my OnlyFans. And we pretty much get into that kind of stuff over there. Link is below. And um, your, your profession, your workplace, college, anything like that. Um, definitely favorable to you this week as well. Your profession will be uh, significant. You'll be... Uh, could be uh, get some recognition this week for the, something that you do on the job. Pay attention to that. And then, yeah, there's that long dif distance thing going up. And that can have something to do with travel and some foreign themes as well. And it can also have something to do with that romantic relationship that's showing up here too. So that's just pretty much tying all this reading in. Okay, you guys. So I know it's short, but it is Sunday. Uh, going into Monday, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys, and um, don't forget to go over and check out my Moon Pie Tarot channel, that is the original channel, and that will have your love readings over there from Monday through Friday, so you will always have a reading from me pretty much every day, except for Saturdays, and yeah, I will see you guys back here tomorrow, all right, take care, bye!